Good day and good evening, everyone. Happy November 7th, or as us Mass Effect fans like to say, happy N7 day. For anyone who knows me, they'll know I'm a huge fan of the franchise. I have played and completed the game far too many times, if that's possible. So, before we get into this, I'm very sorry about my voice. I am a little bit blocked up. I've been traveling for a few weeks. So, if this doesn't sound perfect, this is an experiment, this new series anyways. So, we'll see how it goes, and hope you all enjoy. My intention here is to pitch my idea for my dream Mass Effect project, or an ideal Mass Effect project, because I don't think I can come up with something better than the original trilogy, maybe with a, a best of the original trilogy with a little bit more in it. So, this is my idea for Mass Effect Eclipse. Firstly, if you're wondering when this game is going to be set, it'll be set during the time period of the second game. And when I say that, I mean the very start of the second game up until the end of it. Maybe a bit into the third game. Because if you're unfamiliar with the second game, there's a big time jump from the opening credits till the actual first mission. There's a couple of years there, so that's when this area this could all happen. So what is Mass Effect Eclipse going to be about? Basically, you're going to play as a human who is a member of the Eclipse Mercenary Group, and they're quite proliferant in Mass Effect 2, and they appear in Mass Effect 3. And you've been in the group for a while, and you're quite distinguished, and you're a bit respected, but you're still quite low. The opening mission of the game will be used just to teach you the basics of how the game works, and from there onwards, your entire squad that you're in with will be killed off and you will be, depending on maybe certain choices, you'll be rewarded as in good job or rewarded with uh, comments around it as a punishment to you know your own unit to do with as you please. And you'll be given a bit of a budget by your commanding officer and from there you'll have to build up your squad. And this is why I've picked Eclipse as the mercenary group for your main character a member of. In the lore of the series, you have humans, Asari, Salarians, and at least one Batarian, who are all members of Eclipse. Not only that, but the Eclipse mercenary group use all three different types of mechs that you can see within Mass Effect. And this is where my idea for the game comes in. That you will be given your squad, and you can choose either to have, like, all mechs with maybe a small support group or all organics or maybe a mixture of both um, majority of your squad will be like sort of faceless crew members who will just be there either to support or fight but you'll get some named characters that you can develop good relationships with or maybe if tech allows it you'll have a lot of named characters and those that you spend a lot of time with will be more loyal to you and I think that'll be a really cool experience there may even be an option just to have your character play fully solo where you can have the best gear and the best techniques for yourself with just a really good support group that never actually fight that could be an option as well either way you'll start out on Omega which if you played Mass Effect 2 and so Mass Effect 3 is a very important location and I would like to see all the areas from the original appearances of Omega, plus a lot more, like a more fleshed out area. And you'll have a small base of operations there where you can work from originally. Starting out in Omega, of course, will bring back the Paragon and Renegade systems from Mass Effect, but with a bit more depth, because it's 2020s, we can do better. So you can maybe choose a pacifist option where you choose non-violence to get your way. I know as a mercenary this may be a bit of a weird concept. Maybe you want to go in guns blazing and build up this like renegade reputation that will follow you through. Or maybe you'll try a bit more sneakier options, you know, like sabotage and things like that. Either way, it will develop into who your character is and how people view your character, which will affect what missions you get offered later on in the game. And I'll come back to that shortly. While on Omega, you could partake in the local criminal enterprises, or maybe you could choose the more lawful path and sort of carve out your own little domain of decency, we'll say. You'll also have your small base, which you'll build up from, 
and eventually as the game goes on you can maybe get your own ship you could work off of or get a small base of operations off Omega either way it's for you to work with but it'll be your responsibility to protect that because other rival factions may come and attack you the game will avoid missions and instead have a job system and many of those jobs will not be mandatory some will the progress the story and with those jobs they'll be time sensitive because mercenary work is time sensitive and if you reject certain ones they will close off certain paths but if you take on certain ones you'll also gain certain gear and weapons and access to certain shops that you otherwise would have access to this means that you can build up your group and outfit them with the weapons that you want them to have and then that would hopefully go into an online system where two different mercenary groups can fight off against each other which would be a really fun option I think. So as the game progresses your squad will have different specialties and different gear and you'll have a certain reputation built up around you which means you'll be offered more work leaning towards those things. So say you have a reputation as a pretty decent fellow you'll be offered maybe more bodyguard work or finding people who've been kidnapped while if you have a reputation as a cold son of a bitch you'll be offered brutal work where you're going into areas and just killing people so that would help sort of define how you want to play the game taking a PHI cyberpunk and maybe try and add in some options for non-violent takedowns which means you could you know take on these really dangerous missions but you're not killing anyone which again will add to your reputation and maybe the leader of your group will contact you and say i want you for this because we can't have a public relations disaster or maybe you'll be contacted and told no survivors and if you do leave a survivor you'll be punished for it drastically as well as Omega, I'd like to see other options like Ilum and maybe a few plants we've never actually been to before being shown off. And at least then you could sort of specialize doing work on those places there. A lot of the work could just be auto-generated, simple, you know, find and kill missions. While you'd still have some big ones that will be multi-step pro uh, processes. And so that is my pitch for Mass Effect Eclipse. It's only a few minutes long, so I hope you enjoyed and stuck with me to it. Um, what do you think? Would you play this game, or do you think it's just a stupid idea from a fanboy who has too much time on his hands? Anyway, I'll catch you later, guys, and please leave a comment below, because I like interacting with other Mass Effect fans, because most of my friends aren't Mass Effect fans, because they suck. <laughs> so, um, I'll see you later, guys.